They have defied the pundits, confounded the experts, and surprised everyone but themselves. In this edition of Sports Night Countdown, we bring you our list of the greatest draft steals in NHL history. Yes, 25 hidden gems that help make genius GM. Welcome to Sports Tech Countdown. I'm Ivanka Ozma. And I'm Ken Reed. And right now we're counting down the top 25 draft steals in NHL history. Every year at draft time, we go through the same thing, a debate about who is going to go number one. Sometimes that top pick, hey, it's obvious. There is no debate. Other years, bit of a question mark. But we always get the answer to that question. But one thing we usually don't know until years after draft day is who was the biggest steal of the draft. The guys that prove late round picks actually do matter. Okay, let's get started. Here's number 25, Mika Kiprasov. Falling to the fifth round before being picked up by San Jose, Kiprasov was traded to Calgary, where he led the league in goals against average for two seasons. What a save by Mika Kiprasov. Never won the Vesna Trophy in year two and started at least 70 games in goal during seven straight seasons. Daniel Alfredson. If the Senators knew they were looking at the future face of their franchise in Alfredson, they certainly didn't show it on draft day, picking him in the sixth round. Alfredson won the Calder Trophy in his first of 17 seasons with the Sens. Number 23, Shea Weber. Drafted in the second round of the 2003 draft, Weber quickly proved he deserved a place in the first. A perennial candidate for the Norris Trophy, Weber scored more goals than any other defenseman during the 2013-14 season. Number 22, Bernie Nichols. Bring into action, Nichols with a big shot, he scores, Bernie Nichols. Selected 73rd overall in 1980, Nichols scored 327 goals and added 431 assists over nine seasons with the Kings to start his career. He spent 17 years in the NHL, landing top 50 career totals for goals, assists, and points. Number 21, Jonathan Quick. The 2005 entry draft saw Carey Price and Tuka Rass selected in the first round. But it was more than 50 picks later before the Kings took Jonathan Quick. He's more athletic than most. 2005's 72nd pick now has his name on the Conn Smythe Trophy and two Stanley Cups. Number 20, Jamie Benn. Sort of luck. The Dallas Stars took Ben during the fifth round in 2007. Ben played 82 games for Dallas just two years later. He opened the 2013-14 season as the Stars' captain and now has a contract that will see him stay in Dallas until the end of the 16-17 season. Number 19, Zdeno Chara. Time finalist, one-time winner of the Norris Trophy, Boston Bruins captain Zdeno Chara proved an incredible bargain in the 1996 draft. The Islanders, they selected him 56 overall. Chara signed with the Bruins in 2006 and led Boston to a Stanley Cup in 2011. Number 18, Tim Thomas. was picked in the ninth round of the 1994 entry draft by the Quebec Nordiques, but he didn't play his first game of NHL hockey until 2002, after he signed with Boston as a free agent. 
Thomas had his breakout season in 2008-09, winning the Vesna and Jennings trophies. Two seasons later, he carried the Bruins to a Stanley Cup win, picking up the Conn Smythe and a second Vesna along the way. Number 17, Milan Hedu. Joining Tim Thomas as a Nordic draft steal in 1994, Hayduk was selected as the 87th overall pick. Transferred to Colorado when the team relocated in 1995, Hayduk spent the entirety of his 14-season NHL career with the Avs. Here's He played in 1,020 games for Colorado, second only to Joe Sackick, and scored at least 20 goals in 11 straight seasons. Number 16, Chris Chelios. As the 40th overall pick in 81, Chelios proved plenty of value. Following a career that saw him win three Norris trophies and play 1,651 games, the second rounder was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2013. Chris Chelios, Hall of Famer, and I'm pretty sure he's the only guy on our list who was cut from his college hockey team in California. Makes you want to go back in the past, knock on that coach's door and say, what were you thinking? Speaking of which, what were you thinking? Shoot that puck at the net. The puck comes in front, into the skates, and in the net! Oh, an own goal by the Canucks! Oh, my goodness! This is not Roberto Luongo's fault. It's nobody's fault. Just some bad luck right there. Jack Johnson drops it back for Jenner. No, they <laughs> score. The hockey stick broke. And the blade went into the net. A little bit loose out of his net. More draft steals are on the way here on Sportsnet Countdown. And Osmac, you know I love the Maritimes. It's true. And I think we're going to have to go into the past and check out a Moncton Golden Flame who's still to come in our countdown. Not surprised. Plus, we're going to have a couple of the greatest goalies to ever step on the ice prove you don't need hype as a junior to sometimes make it in the bigs. We're continuing the countdown, the top 25 draft day steals. Hey, we're back on Sportsnet Countdown, counting down the top 25 draft day steals. Osmac, have you ever been caught stealing? Uh, does the bulk section count? You stole the bulk section? No, I bulk? have not. Good. Okay, let's get back to the countdown mm -hmm. and talk about when steals are a good thing. Start off with a guy who turns heads on the ice, and I'm just gonna say, maybe off the ice as well. The guy is kinda hunky. Calm down, lady. Number 15, Henrik Lundqvist. <laughs> Lundqvist helped see the New York Rangers through to the Stanley Cup Final in 2014, 14 years after the Rangers selected him 205th overall. Toward the net, the point it. what a save! Save by Lundqvist! He kept it out of the net with a brilliant save! In his first nine seasons on Broadway, Lundqvist led the league in shutouts twice and has been selected for three All-Star games. What a save! been a Vesna Trophy finalist five times and won it once. Number 14, Theo Fleury. Draft 
Drafted 166 overall in 1987, Fleury joined the Flames during the 88-89 season and played in all 22 of the team's playoff games. Calgary went on to hoist the cup. Fleury was the Flames' franchise points leader for a decade, falling to second behind Jerome McGinley in 2009. Number 13, Yari Curry. Dubbed the Finnish Flash, Yari Curry slipped to 69th overall before being selected by the Edmonton Oilers. Curry, he was a huge part of an Edmonton team that won five Stanley Cups, scoring more than a point per game through an NHL career spanning 17 seasons. Number 12, Doug Gilmore. Before playing 20 seasons in the NHL and recording 1,414 points across seven teams, Doug Gilmore was selected 134th in the seventh round of the 1982 entry draft by the St. Louis Blues. Hastily traded to the Calgary Flames during the 1988 offseason, Gilmore won his only Stanley Cup in his first year in Calgary. He spent parts of seven seasons in Toronto, retiring as a Maple Leaf in 2003. Gilmore's number was honored by the Leafs in 2009, and he was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2011. Mark Recchi's 22-year NHL career started with little fanfare as the 67th overall pick in the 1988 draft. During stints with seven teams, Recchi won three Stanley Cups with three different teams. He played in 1,652 games over the course of his career, locking up top 20 totals for goals, assists, and points. He retired at age 42 after a successful Stanley Cup run with the Bruins. Mark Recchi gets his third Stanley Cup. And another visit to Mark Recchi Way in Cambridge, D.C. Number 10, Henrik Zetterberg. Successor to fellow draft steal, Nicholas Lidstrom as team captain of the Detroit Red Wings, Zetterberg stayed on the board into the seventh round of the 1999 entry draft. Zetterberg scored the Stanley Cup winning goal in the 2008 playoffs, and his performance earned him the Conn Smythe Trophy. After starting his career as the 210th overall pick, Zetterberg has since signed a contract that will see him stay in Motown through the end of the 2020-21 season. Smith thought he was seeing the same thing that he saw from Philpola. Oh, my, oh, my, do they love it here. Number nine, Pavel Bure. Two players from the 1989 draft were inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2012. Matt Sundin, who went first overall, and Pavel Bure, who went to Vancouver in the sixth round. Bure paid dividends immediately, winning the Calder Trophy in his first year in the NHL before going on to lead the league in goals three times in his 12-year career. Number eight, Sergei Fedorov. Detroit took Fedorov in the fourth round in 1989. He defected from the Soviet Union the next year and joined the Wings in Detroit. Here's Fedorov. Three years later,
years later, he had his marquee season, winning the Hart Trophy and racking up 120 points. In 13 seasons with Detroit, Fedorov helped the team to three Stanley Cup titles, averaging almost a point per game throughout his playoff career. Number seven, Patrick Wall. Close to the right, puts the rebound. The Montreal Canadiens took Wall in the third round with the 51st pick of the 1984 NHL entry draft. Wall won the Conn Smythe with his first playoff run with the Habs in 1986. Pressing the shot, Wall the same! And after that, a Hall of Fame career spanning 19 seasons between Montreal and Colorado. Not too shabby for the 51st overall pick. Number six, Nicholas Lidstrom. Following Lidstrom's 20 seasons and four Stanley Cup wins with the Red Wings, current Detroit GM Ken Holland called him the most valuable player of his era. And if you can get the most valuable player of any era at 53rd overall, you found yourself a solid draft steal. The man his teammates called the perfect human retired in 2012. And now from the perfect human to the perfectly humorous time for more of What Were You Thinking? Tried the line and Brody with a great shift there. Gets it down and down goes Scribbins. He's caught in the trapezoid. Puck in front, open net. Just goes back to the puck carrier. Maybe he can strip him of the puck. A broken stick by Sharp. The net empty for the Chicago Blackhawks. It's coming back. Could it go in? Yes, it's in! A goal! Rata goes to the bench, and it's an own goal <laughs> that ties this game at two. Thank you very much. His first NHL goal, his first NHL point. Osmak, you know what I'm thinking? Pastrami sandwich with a slice of Havarti cheese. Partly, but I'm also thinking it's time for a break, and there are still five players to come on our list who are absolute steals. Steals on draft day. Of course, not everyone can project greatness, because if they could, come on, everyone in our top five would have gone first overall. That's a tease, Kenny. Very good tease. Usually good you're tease. the one captivating the audience before the break, but Usually. it's me. More countdown after. Very, very captivating. NHL draft steals. Let's get to it. Your top five. We've got a guy who was accused of being too slow, and what a shocker. Once upon a time, the words too small came up when scouting at least one of the gents in our top five. Only served as motivation, because that guy who was accused of being too small turned out to be a killer. And the guy who was accused of being too slow will pretty much score goals at will over his almost two decades in the NHL. Number five, Luke Robitaille. Despite falling to the ninth round of the 1984 draft, Robitaille was immediately productive upon his arrival in the NHL two years later. He won the Calder Trophy in his first of 19 NHL seasons during a career that saw him retire with more goals than any other left winger in league history. Gets it again, puts it, they score! Robitaille, one time to... And while he started and ended his career as a member of the LA Kings, Robitaille won his only Stanley Cup as a Detroit Red Wing. Number four, Brett Hull. Run, shot, score! To the corner. Brett Hull. The Calgary Flames found a draft steal in Hull, taking him 117th overall in 1984. But then they traded him to St. Louis before he completed his first full season in the NHL. 
In St. Lou, Hall put up the numbers at the heart of his Hall of Fame career, scoring 86 goals during the 1990-91 campaign. Hall went on to win the Stanley Cup in Dallas and Detroit. He ranks third in career goals with 741. Number three, Mark Messier. Drafted by Edmonton with the 48th pick in 1979, Mark Messier rewarded the Oilers with five Stanley Cup championships, earning the Conn Smythe Trophy for his role in the first of five. Through 25 NHL seasons, Messier racked up 1,887 career points, second only to Wayne Gretzky. And won the Hart Trophy and Pearson Award two times each. He was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2007, the first year he was eligible for the honor. Number two, Pavel Datsuk. Pavel Datsuk was another late round pick by the Wings. He went 171st overall. So far in his career, Datsuk has won two Stanley Cups in 12 seasons in Detroit, one in his first year with the Wings. Datsuk blossomed in his third season after the departure of Sergei Fedorov led to more ice time for the then 25-year-old. Datsuk has since been a perennial candidate for both the Bing and Selkie trophies, having notched 804 points and registered a career plus-minus of plus 230. And Steckel and Zetterberg battle who got it through to Datsuk. Great ball. Oh, God! Oh, what a beautiful goal! Number one, Dominic Hashin. Selected late in the 10th round with the 199th pick, Hasek led the league in save percentage for six consecutive seasons, winning the Vesna Trophy in five of those six years. He finished his career with his second Stanley Cup win in 2008. Dominic Hasek is probably the most unorthodox goaltender in the history of the game. Osmac, you know one of the things, one of the things I like about democracy? What's that, Ken? You can always debate. You can debate, well, the top draft steals in NHL history, if you'd like to. Sure, if you don't agree with our countdown, mm -hmm. top 25, I don't know why you wouldn't. No. However, this is your chance to uh, challenge us. Yes, you can tweet us using hashtag SNCountdown or log on to sportsnet.ca. Of course, we always enjoy doing this show, and we hope you enjoyed watching it. We'll see you next time. I'm Ivanka Osmac. I'm Ken Reed. See you later.